Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hope everybody's doing well out there. I just figured today we'd do a little chit chat and we could sit there and watch the flag. There's a lot of stuff that's going on in this country. We all know what most of it is. Um, between the Charlie Victor 19, uh, the U.S. economy, the world economy, uh, food shortages, what they're trying to do with the food, um, how they're looking to try to reinvent the wheel, if you would say. You know, you got the U.S. Uh, canned food shortages. Uh, some of it's due to the the tin and steel shortages from China. Um, they just don't have the products to put the products in, if you know what I'm saying. You know, it just doesn't make any sense. You know, once again, you know, we, over the years, we've lost all of our businesses and um, outsourced everything to other countries. And China just saw the door was wide open years ago and took advantage of it. And now, you know, just about everything that we touch or buy is made in China. So if you find something that's made in America, buy it. So, you know, there's a, something else that's been going on. There's a, a global AI surveillance. And it's um, basically that's been put out by Al Gore. And what that is, is it's this... Uh, <clears throat> It's these satellites, and these satellites are measuring emissions on everything, anything and everything. They're tracking it from plants to power plants to your car, anything that emits an emission, this system can track it. Now, we already know that we're all being tracked, especially with all this 5G that's coming into the whole scenario. Um, out there that's going on and uh, they're expanding the whole 5G network um, I do have a 5G phone I also do have ways of making sure that if I want to go somewhere you're not going to track it. there are ways that you can get around that and I'm not talking about anything with doing with turning on and off the phone or turning programs on and off or apps on and off I have ways of making sure that if I want to go somewhere you're not going to know where that phone is and it's been tested and proven so you just have to think outside the box if you're buying a new phone it's a 5G and you're going on 5G and when that phone hits 5G it tells you right there at the top when it logs into 5G um, they know exactly everything about you, where you've been, what you've been doing, what store you went to, what bathroom you use, what urinal you used, and if you flushed and washed your hands. It probably could almost tell them also if you even were wearing a mask when you entered the said property. So there's a lot of things that are going on out there and a lot of stuff that just doesn't make the the regular news and I would suggest that people get online and do some reading on some of the stuff that's going on um, they want to do away with all the regular meat products and um, KFC actually has and you guys can go on and google this has invented a machine that will 3d print chicken McNuggets they're actually 3d printing food coming to us so with them trying to print all of our food now lord only knows what you could be eating eating here in the soon coming future what does the future really hold well they keep printing money the way they're printing and the dollar bill is going to be worth nothing it's going to be worthless so you, talk, you hear a lot of people talk about buying gold and silver and that type of stuff because that's going to be the stable currency. 
since the inflation part of the American dollar is going to be skyrocketing with the trillions and trillions of dollars that they're handing out like it is water. But nobody really seems to care because they just don't. I don't know what really has happened to this country in the last decade or so. It just seems like uh, one thing after another, it has turned into a big chaotic mess. And it just seems that uh, everybody seems to have an idea of what's going on and maybe how to fix it. But the majority of the people, I don't think they really want to fix it at this point in time. Seems to get a little chaotic. And I think the government at this point in time is enjoying the, the chaos. So that is why channels like mine, we sit back and we keep telling everybody to make sure that you are prepping. Make sure that you are doing what you can to make sure that you have enough food and supplies for you and your family in case SHTF does happen and for some ungodly reason we end up in some type of a one hell of a mess that we can't get out of and the American dollar all of a sudden is worth nothing. Now I hope that I am totally wrong but one doesn't have to be a rocket scientist to look at all the trillions of dollars that they are handing out and the national debt and the amount of money that they are bringing in since there are still so many millions of Americans out of work because of Charlie Victor 19. So you can't keep handing out one way and not getting back the other way if you understand what I'm saying. So we want to make sure that you know, you're doing your part, you're making what you can make, um, your preps, you're keeping up on your preps, uh, especially if you are working, because uh, you may have to end up have, you know, helping out maybe a family member or a close friend or something. Um, it, it's pretty difficult to sit back and say no to someone if you actually have food and stuff to eat. Um, you want to make sure that you're really paying attention and like I said, you know, you can go online and you can research some of the stuff that I mentioned um, with the, the tin and steel shortages from China, uh, the global AI uh, surveillance system, uh, how KFC is looking to, uh, you know, they're starting to 3D print like uh, chicken nuggets and stuff like that. Um, it's all it's all really good. And uh, one last thing. Uh, Good old Bill Gates, he's not going to be your friend. He is uh, behind a lot of these things. And uh, he would like to see the uh, whole food industry redone and reinvented into some kind of what you would call food products. So this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Everybody needs to stay safe out there, stay prepped, keep your head up, and hopefully we'll all make it through this. So until next time, catch you all on the flip side.